if I have a scarf, yes? So the movement is still the same. So as he comes to attack me, I'm doing one, two, four. Here, that, this arm, boom. So for punch, left, around, so you know, yes. Make sense or not, yes? So everything that you guys are doing here is, is based on understanding body mechanics. Once you understand the body mechanics, everything will be much more easier. So again, I can do this. One, two, four. As I'm doing this, I stop. So if I have a scarf, as he comes to attack me, one, two, boom, hitting him, boom, like that, I go down, stop, see that? Because for punch, boom, I got this, see that? And then, so the thing is, from here, in Silat, you don't do a submission. Your goal is to crush the windpipe. So this is a nice way of doing it. This is the correct way of doing it. Yes? So you want to just spike your elbow straight into the neck. Yes? And then you just want to make sure you crush it. But for training purposes, we make the training safe. So this is what we're going to do tomorrow. Yes? So again, keep in mind, this is a scar. It's a long range weapon. Yes? So uh, traditionally what we would do here is we would tie small pebbles or small rocks at the tip of the tassel. Yes? If you hand up, hand up. So if I'm doing this, imagine this is ice, yes? That is his eyes. Yes? So put your hand up, both hands. So take a look, yes? So the goal is to be, if you can be very accurate with whipping, you can be very accurate with throwing a knife. Uh, it doesn't mean the knife will stick, but the knife will hit. Yes, so whatever it is, the knife could hit him with the handle first, the edge first, the tip first, it's still a hit. Yes? So the goal, put your hand up, hand up. So I can hit the hand, I can hit the hand, I can hit the elbow, I can hit the elbow, I can go for the armpit. I can go for the nipple. Ow! Oh. Yes. <laughs> 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 the, 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 the beautiful thing about this, yes, when you put that small rock at the end, yes, this can curve around the back and then hit him from the side. I will not do it here because um, I don't want to. Yes. So, but the goal here, if you take a look, yes, I can hit it here. From there. Okay, here. So, if he's got a knife, I do not want to engage him first, so he comes to attack me. I want to blind him first. But for training purposes, I go here. In reality, it's there. You see that? The hand? So he comes to attack me, I move up, I'm hitting the hand. So once he's, once he's there, then I know how to disarm. Boom. He comes again. See that? Boom. Back. Yes, then I pull. Back. So when you guys are doing this, it's. You missed it. <laughs> so, Sometimes, if you are if you are a fisherman, yes, they would put crushed seashells. Okay. So when this goes around his his um, neck, no, they will just do that. So it, it will not kill him, but it will create small cuts. Yes. So again, uh, everything you guys are doing here is it's, it comes from the tradition of Sila. Yes. So you want to make sure that he comes to attack you. You will know that this should be his eyes. But I'm taking his hands. Yes. Or oh, once I get the eyes, he comes to attack me. Then it's a plus one. I do the same thing. One, two. Boom. Come there. He comes back. Boom. There. Same. Now, now I can take him down. If not, I'll just leave. And then, you remember that, that pebble or that crusty shell? This one. Oh, yes. So, it will not kill him, but it will annoy him. <laughs> <laughs> but again, if you have that crushed sea, uh, um, or pebble, it whips on skin, it will break the skin. So it's like, you know, you, you, you're throwing small laser blades. Yes? It's like that. So every time you're doing this, you're smashing like this, you're going like that, you're going here, you're cutting small chunks of skin. Yes? So it's, it will not stop him, but imagine if that is his eyes. Yes? Then that will uh, stop him from having more momentum forward. So again, hands up. So keep in mind, when you guys are doing this, yes, you're learning to be very accurate. Hand, hand, elbow, under the arm. Table, under the button, knee, knee. And then obviously the neck, yes, you're going to go into the neck. So, but I uh, will reserve this for tomorrow. You need to understand the drill first. The, the drill is going to teach you all this. Make sense? Thank you. Uh, nine. So again, you know you have, just go ahead. You know you have this, okay? Hit here, face, neck. You know you have this, and then you have pass this cut. Yes. So now, if you don't have enough knife, just pretend your training partner has a knife. So you have two knives now. He goes for thrust, cut, 
changing hands. The body mechanics remains the same. So it's impossible that you don't remember this because it's the same move. It's just that changing hands. That's it. Yes? yes. So if I'm doing this an arm, I don't know why we would be an arm against a knife. But again, back hand, yeah. back hand, yeah. back hand, Whoop. back hand, uh, sorry, uh, this, hit, and then back hand, hit, pin, and then back hand, so, and then hit, and then you're done. Is it okay guys? That's good, thank you.